Hey everybody, it's me. Today I need to set up my planner for um, February 1st to the 4th. I'm purposely skipping the 29th and the 31st. If you want to see how I do that, just stay tuned. my social media planner and I did do um kind of a <coughs> excuse me good lord oh gotta hate allergies I did do a setup in a monthly video um it posted I believe last night um I've already went to dinner and this is the same day it's just later in the evening this is my monthly overview um well my yearly overview of all the um release dates that I'm hoping to keep to this year I'm hoping not to have to change them this is for my followers and subscribers where I'm going to check, uh, track it for each one of my um, social media accounts. And then here is where I want to um, do the number of posts and videos that got on to all the social media accounts. And then a uh, quick reference for hashtags. I need to start writing them in there. So I set up my dashboard. I still haven't figured out um, what my goal one and two is going to be for the month because I kind of have a big project over here that I explained in the last video. And then, of course, this was my monthly. At the time I did the video, I didn't know what I wanted to track here. I don't want to duplicate the information from the front of the followers and subscribers and posts and videos. So I think this should be where um, I write in what my goal number is for the mo month on these uh, social media accounts. So I think that's the way I'm going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start um, the 1st or the 4th. I am skipping this, but I am decorating this page and I'll show you what I came up with. So, let's go ahead and move Snoopy before he gets lost. Okay, so I am going to be finishing up the Be Mine kit uh, in this planner. I definitely want to use um, the same uh, weekly kit as I did for the monthly. So, this is the Plum Paper Weekly Planner Kit. This is your sampler. It's so cute. Then, here are the checklists and labels. I'm a little out of frame, so sorry about peoples. And then, um, here are the washi strips. Super, super cute. And then um, the full boxes. And I did take the checklist off on the vertical, I mean, on the Plum Paper Weekly Kit. I didn't want, you know, more than four of those because I don't really use these boxes. I wanted to take them off the kit, you know, because if I don't like it, I don't want to sell it. But I have a lot of customers who like the weekly kit and they definitely say that they use these boxes. So I left them at least four, but I kind of gave myself three you know so there's a happy medium in, in the middle of all of it okay so that's the four page kit i got the full kit printed out and then I, of course i've got the deco washi for the seven by nine i have the glitter headers i definitely want to use these um i have whoops the individual checklist wonky arrows and circle dots some thin washi oh the header strips I don't like the brush strokes, not in this planner. And then the sidebar elements. So, um, and I created another page kind of like I did for my dashboard that's going to go right here in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started, but I got to go see what my dogs were freaking out about. So hang on one second. Absolutely nothing. Just like I thought. They're just lunatics. So let's go ahead and get the headers on. And I am going to put it on this side because I want it to like kind of match on both sides, even though I've got a sticker that I sized for in here to cover up those shaded days because I did rip out the January. So I don't really have, you know, the darn things to, uh, you know, normally I take these two pages together and I keep it on boogie in, but I don't have two pages to be able to, you know, to use in the back of the, the previous month. So anyway, if you use a plum, you know exactly what I meant. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the 1st of the 4th on here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the, the dates that it was for Monday through Wednesday. Yeah, so it is, it is late Thursday night. To me, it's late. I get up around 3 in the morning, so it's, a, it's, it's going on, uh, you know, 9 o'clock, and I'm like, dude, I am so ready to go. Where is all that smoke coming from? Do I have a candle going? I sure do. Let me move it. Good lord. Scared. 
scaring the dick out of me. I was like, what's on fire? So anyway, if you see my hair in um, the screen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, me and my camera, we are going through some adjustments each time we film a video. We are trying to find out why it is upset with me and how we can make it happy. It is like a, an honorary old man at this point. It just don't like me. So I'm doing everything I can to try to, you know, make it happy. So, we'll see if I can finally figure that bugger out. I just don't have time during the day, guys, to sit here and mess with it. The only time I got time to mess with it is when I film a video. And while I'm filming the video, it wants to, like, not show me in the remote what it's filming. So, when I go to edit it, I'm like, well, I was, okay, it's all good. But then I'll write down what the presets were and I'm like, okay, next video, we'll try it again. So, let's go ahead and get the sidebar on. And anybody who would watch me do a clump paper video, um... I used to use this exact same kind of planner option as my personal. Now it's in my Hobonichi Weeks, and I have literally not planned in a plum paper in, I want to say since October, guys. Since October. So, um, anybody who <laughs> has watched my Play With Me's in this knows me and the sidebar, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't jive because of this right here, because it wants to always be a jerk. So... And I'm not in the mood today. And I have found that when I'm not willing to, like, take the time to be extra and make it perfect. Look at that. It goes down pretty good. Okay, so we got some full box options here. We got this cute little bee with the, um, the happy mail and the flowers. We got the little boy and the girl there. What we got on the other ones? Got the pretty heart. We got the girl bee. I love that girl bee. I love that little boy, too. Well, let's look at the sheet I designed real quick, so that'll probably help me. Um, I want to put this sheet right here, and I'll explain what all I wrote on the booger. Now I'm like, I don't even know if I wanted that header up there, because that looks weird now. I'll put a piece of deco there, it'll be alright. So, since we got big honeycombs, we got the little boy bee and the little girl bee, what else can we put up there? The heart? I'm a thinking. And I do like that bee right there. Yes, I do. I don't like it. But I don't want so many bees on the same page. Let's go with the heart. Let's let's do it. Let's, you know, let's hook it up, Jack. Let's do it. So, this should fit right over the calendar box. Oh, because it's designed to be a perfect square. Mm. Hang tight. So. It's either the sidebar element or the sampler. That's the one that's going to work the best. So, let's dig them out. We got the whole happy scene. Let's do the happy scene. Is this the same size? It better not be. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to start wigging out on y'all. I'm going to start wigging out. And I can't even wig out on nobody because I'm the one that designs the darn kids. I just... <laughs> design so many things, guys, I forget. I ain't even going to lie to you. Ugh. Just, I ain't even gonna lie to you. So we're gonna stick this little booger back there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on this full page sticker since we got this going. Where'd I just set the darn thing? Okay. So what I do is I don't want to see the shaded area and I don't want to back plan. So I have an action I had an action plan for Shopify and I'm pretty happy about what's going on here, guys. I got my current terms and conditions on the website yesterday. I got my privacy policy. I filled out my about me section and these are the only three things I've got left to do that I consider like, oh, I got to, you know, figure out and Google and get the answers. I got to figure out how to put my social media buttons um, in the, I, I know how to link from a website to a social media account, but I want my social media buttons to be um, certain icons. So I'm trying to figure out if I can get my Monarch Butterflies to work the way I want them to, to be my social media buttons, to link you from my website to my social media account to like subscribe, if that makes any sense, or to post or whatever. Um, I need to set up a email service for email newsletter, and I need to find out what app and what I need to do to integrate into the website to give y'all a rewards program. So, but these right here, um, the About Me section was driving me bananas for like three months. Um, I don't like to put pictures of my own self. As you know, um, I started this channel in November of 2022. 
and I have yet to show y'all my face on camera. I'm just, you know, I'm just not that person, you know. Um, I'm not liking that. So, we're going to fix this. Hang on. I'm going to start here. If I got to take a header up, I will. Because the sticker is more important to me than anything. So, anyway, um, the About Me section, I was like, I don't really want to put a picture of myself. And everybody's like, oh, you got to be professional. And she, I don't have to show y'all my face. No, I don't. I have to show y'all my products. That's the way I look at it. Is I have to show y'all my stuff. So, I'm not saying I won't ever do it, but until I get my bottom denture, answers no. So, anyway, we're needing a piece of deco here because that's looking naked. And I don't like it looking naked. So, what have we got here? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to put that there. No, I'm not going to put that little tiny uh, paw print. I should, because that is so my style. I'm thinking I'm just going to put these three little hearts, because it's going to do exactly what I want it to. But I don't want it to be in the way of my holes. So, that fixed that whole problem. And it's super cute. I can dig it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see. Let me get one of these Erin Condren dual tip markers. I like how bold they are. That's a check. That's a check. And that's a check. I'm so happy. And then I know there's apps I'm going to have to integrate into the website to make it do the things I want it to do. So one of the apps I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do is uh, the rewards program. And I definitely know it's an email, but I don't know the names of them. So I've got to do a little bit more Googling. And so that's where I'm going to write these in. So let's go ahead and set up this sidebar real quick. And y'all are going to get to see some goodies that are coming on $2 Tuesday. Um, but where is my sidebar elements? Okay. I want to use the word this week. This is where I would always put my grocery list. So... I'm not sure what this is going to become now. It's interesting. So, if you guys have not seen in the shop, there are custom Hobonichi scripts. And they come on a 3x5 sheet. Okay? They are the same price as the full-size sheets. But, you get just as many scripts as you do on the larger sheet, roughly. Like, within a few. Um, but, it's because the blades have to cut so intricately and so small around the letters that I'm, I'm gonna price the sheets I think at four dollars on my website um, and I'm always running a sale so you never pay a full price but you can definitely get custom scripts and it's even though it says Hobonichi you guys it's gonna work beautifully in your sidebar so what I want this sidebar to say is social media okay so you see that's the Hobonichi weeks custom but if you're needing scripts perfectly sized for your sidebars, this is the scripts you want to order, okay, to make it say what you want it to say. All right, so I designed these. I don't know if I'm going to put these into uh, the shop. You guys will have to let me know, okay, but let me go ahead and zoom up in here so you can see. Can you get in there a little bit closer? That's as close as it's going to get. So you've got the little Instagram camera, right, with the word Instagram, You've got the little Facebook icon with Facebook. You got the little Pinterest. You got do, 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 the little YouTube. So cute. And then you've got TikTok. Okay. Now, TikTok, the small as it gets. You got what I'm saying? Some of your definitions going to be gone. You can got the T, but you don't have like the outside colors so much coming through. And you definitely don't have the little word TikTok that's in the logo. And so, yeah, I don't know if you would want these in the shop. Y'all have to tell me. I'll put in the social media ones because I know there's a lot of people that would want those probably in their sidebar. But I'm definitely wanting to put in, oh, wait a minute. I've got them orientated certain ways. So let's put in Instagram right here. Oh, no, Instagram is my bane. Oh, you guys, I, I don't know what to do with Instagram. It drives me bananas. I'm laying them this way because I want them to go do, 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 do. You know what I mean? But I don't know which way they're oriented until I put them down. So, let's do this. Did I get that straight up off the bat? I did. So, we're going to put YouTube first because, dirt, it's easy. So, that's what I want in there first. Do I want it all the way over here to the side? I think I do. I think I do. Okay, so then we're going to put in TikTok because I just repurposed my YouTube. That's easy. 
Facebook does not scare me. But that one's not going to work, is it? No. We're already jacking it up. Look at that, y'all. Let's do Instagram. I, <laughs> what is that thing from Alice in Wonderland? She does, like, so many impossible things before breakfast. I need to do two scary things before breakfast. How about that? All right, we'll do Facebook. Facebook don't scare me. It's just I literally got to be reminded. Pinterest... put YouTube down here yep and we'll put TikTok at the top that works for me yeah and then we'll put Pinterest at the bottom because I don't have my boards set up yet or my templates so I've got in my little sidebar I totally dig it dude look at that so cool I love it love it love it but I can see my Facebook is a little cattywampus so there we go. So that is this side of the page that I didn't want to play in. And I like it already. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get this book out. Now, do I want to do some bottom washi? Which one is the thickest? I like that standard kit because it's got a real old big piece. Mm, that makes me wonder if I should be doing three things a day down there. Mm, mm, mm. Well, since I only got one side, and this one right here is the only one that's on that one page. I'm thinking. What else I got? Y'all haven't done a plum in so long. Okay, first of all, that's trash. Let's just throw it in the bucket. I do have my deco washi. Let's look at that. Let's look at the deco washi. Let's do these. These are cute. Let's do this little bird. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Okay, first of all, we're going to layer it because I can already tell I'm not going to like it unless I layer it. So that's why I cut doo -doo -doo -doo, the thin washi. So I am going to take the, um, I think I'm going to take the hearts because it'll stand out from behind that image. And I will stick it right along the bottom here. Now, I didn't size it for the plum paper, the thin washi, just to let y'all know. I did not size it for it. It just happens to work. You just got to cut a teeny bit off. That's it. And I, that's the only kind of sticker surgery I'm willing to deal with. Okay, so let's put the black ruler right there. And cut my little piece of washi off. There we go. All right, now let's grab his deco washi. Let's get it all hooked it up. So, if I lay it all the way across. Hmm. I don't know what I think about that, y'all. Well, let's get it to where it ain't catty won't. How about that? I'm like, do I really want the little... I do. I do, y'all, I do. I don't mind if it goes into the center a whole lot. But I do mind if it looks like it's going to go off the page. Because I'm not putting it down column to column. I'm trying to make it do what I want it to. And it's not wanting to. I want my B to end right. Did you stop? Yeah, my B is going to go off my page. And I don't want that. You ain't allowed to go off the page check. So let's do it this way. Let's do it upside down. Let's make her start where I want her to. Okay, so we'll go down with the honeycombs, and then I can go back and adjust that. That's not a problem. Okay, like that, like that. Now let's lift her butt up, because she ain't right. And get her straight. I said I was going to put that right up underneath of there, didn't I? That's all right. It's a social media planner. It's not like I need all this room. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what I want to do down here. This is interesting. Hmm. Don't really want to waste that area. Oh, I designed these to go down there. I sure had. I sure had. So I've got one of every color. So let's do it. Let's stick the pink. I forgot I had designed these when I reformatted the kits. Mm -hmm. So that you can put like dinners, a script here, you know, and then you could write in in there what you wanted. So um, not really sure what I'm gonna put down here yet. So that might be where I like track the views for the day in Etsy. I, I have no idea. 
this is going to be fun to figure it out. And the way I'm setting it up is it makes me intrigued to play with social media. I'm one of the people that I like to play with the algorithm and see what's going on. I do it in my Etsy shop, and now I kind of want to do it with social media. I want to see if you like overload posts, does that help? If you stagger them, um, are reels more important than just like actual posts? I just really want to play around with it and try to figure out like what's the best way for uh, me. Hang on, daddy's coming to pop. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> my daddy is so funny. Anyway. <laughs> He's so bent out of shape that he had to stay late at Greenies today. I was like, really, dude? You'd be alright. He's like, I don't like sports. And she had to do a basketball game. He was not happy. Alright. So, I had designed, uh, in my mind, the way I would do my other planner was um, I would put my blood pressure and stuff in this section right here. Because I had a really nice little line to separate everything. But... It's not going to work in social media. I'm not putting my medicine in there. And I don't even know if I like that. I don't. Let's take it up. I don't like that at all. That is just... Mm -mm. It's not, you know... I can hold it over here because it's the right size for, like, the column. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not liking that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not digging that. Let's do the glitter headers. Where'd they go? Where did they go? Glitter headers, where are you at? Here they are. Okay, so let's do, let's see what this looks like. I don't want to see that line, guys. I just don't. If I put it directly under, that's a question. Ooh, that's a serious question. Up. Oh. Oh, I dig it. I don't see that line no more. I don't want to see that line. Because it's not the full length, and it's bold, and I just don't want to see it. So, glitter headers. Finally got a use for you, boogers. Yay, and you're over. I see the other line now. Come on. So, I didn't get near as much done today as I had wanted to. But I did get a lot of filming out of the way, so I don't have to stop for the rest of the, the week to do some more. And it's pretty nice. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Tater Top is begging me to pick him up. I'm like, no. Um, so, yeah. Tomorrow, I just got to double time it. And like I said, for me, it's getting super late. So, I think I'm going to turn into bed after I schedule this to post tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have a haul video posting. And I would post it Saturday. But I need to get my um, Hobonichi set up. So that when the quad comes in uh, on Tuesday, we can start rocking and rolling with that booger. So I definitely need to get that done. Okay, so I'm going to need some scripts here. And I've got some, so we'll get to it. We'll get to it in a minute. Okay, so let's write down what I did get done social media-wise today. Social media-wise today, I got two videos up on YouTube. Yes, I did. Where is uh, the headers at? I am just like in this mood of trying to use up as much stuff as I can, guys. It's like y'all have no idea how much I'm trying to use up. I'm trying to find those dates. I think I used all of them in the other video. I believe I did, I believe I did, but I didn't on my monthly, so. Uh, I mean, my. Uh, other ones. Did I? Did I? Yeah, I did. Whatever. Oh, I didn't on these, though. Haha. -ha. So, I got that color. That's the only one I got left. So, oh, it's not the same blue, but it'll work. Let's say two videos posted to YouTube. Pretty happy about that. Alright, so we got that in there. That's social media wise. Alright. Let me get these over here. 
I don't need those. I was going to show you those, but I don't have a reason to show them. All right, let's go ahead and put on some full boxes. So we'll go ahead and put on this little bee right here. Yes, we will. I do I want this near the top? Maybe I want them like that. That way I don't have to title that section. That'd be kind of cool. Don't lay it down, crooked dork. Ugh. Alright, come on. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna move this down a hair. Come on now, be nice. I have got to find my better lucifers. I have bent these slightly on the very, very tip of these super pointed tips and believe it or not it jacks them up when you try to use them because you bent them it's arcsome too all right so we'll do the mailbox maybe we will because he's got like some little stripey lines i like it and then we'll use that heart that we have pulled off because it's got stripey lines oh that looks good with that blue too i mean that like green teal color all right so we got the boy bee going that way let's just throw that girl bee right at the end because she's got a heart background too works for me okay so do, do 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 let me get out my stickers i need uh do i not have the pinterest ones in here yet i bet you i don't Hmm. Well, I know my filming schedule will definitely go in here, so might as well get that out. Ooh. All right. And let's get out the YouTube ones, because we'll definitely be doing that. Do I have a full-size TikTok? Yeah, I do. Cool. And got a Facebook. And, yeah, I think, oh, we got an Instagram. Hello. So the only one we don't have is Pinterest, but it's okay because Pinterest just needs labels this week. So let's go ahead and get some labels going. Uh, where's my checklist and label sheet? That's not it. That's not it. That is. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put in... center that all right and we're gonna put in that film because I filmed something today okay tomorrow leave me alone my watch is such a pain in the butt tomorrow we're gonna film another video having a senior moment. I've been having a lot of them today, y'all. Ooh, this new medication has got me where I can't even think today, y'all. Can you tell? Okay. That one there, and then we do have one more on Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. I'm loading you up with uh, <laughs> YouTube videos. One, because I've been, it's been really requested, and then number two, it's the easiest thing for me to do while I get other things ready for the other social media accounts. So, okay, so I need to, uh, this was film PPW, that's what I call this planner, playing with me, and that's what we're doing right now, so that's cool, um, I need to film, uh, what was that, Faith, I need to film it so it can post on Sunday. Then I need to film the budget planner. It came in. I'm going to do a review and a setup of it. And then I need to film oh, Hobonichi Weeks and Quad. Um, my Quad will be delivered on Tuesday, it says. But I need what I do is I, I put the stickers in the Hobonichi Weekly, right? And I write all my notes all week in there. And then the next week, I put my stickers down in the Hobonichi Weeks, as well as the quad, okay? 
and then I turn the page back on the quad and transcribe everything that was in the Hobonichi weeks. Um, that way I can put in all the little deco functionals, all the little foods I've been creating. I'm finally going to show you how I actually intended to be using those. So that is going to be taking care of what all I need to film. That's like behind the scenes stuff, right? So now we need some of these checklists, but I don't want them as long as they are. I'm only wanting to create like three things a day. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to just go across. Oh, no, we're not on my mama's desk. No, we're not. Ooh, how many of y'all was shaking the camera? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. How many of y'all was not even paying attention? Tell the truth, wasn't that too? I was about to cut into my mama's desk. She would have rolled out her grave and all the way out to cemetery, y'all. Yes, she would have. Okay, let's see. If y'all got a, a parent that passed, do y'all ever think that, like, that haunts you sometimes? Lord, I know I think my mama haunts me, y'all. Actually, no, I said three. Did I only... Oh, no, no. Okay, I grabbed the top. We're going to be taking them from the bottom. So, what we need is another glitter header. Let's go backwards. Right? Right? Is that the way we want to do it? No. We're going to stick with our colors. Yes, we are. Don't mess up my gym. Some days I'm kind of anal, and I guess it's today, too. So, we're going to be getting out the sticker in a few minutes. This is Pinterest, because I do have stickers that say Pinterest. And these are the boards I need to create. So I'm going to go ahead and create these boards in Canva, like templates, to be able to post photos for different planner options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create those before I go to bed, and that way my checklist for the day is done, and I'll know which ones I'm creating tomorrow, and yada, yada, yada. All right, so, but yeah, my mom passed in uh, 2015, and she was a clean freak too, and she would always tell me, that if I messed her house up, you know, after she was dead, she was like, I will haunt you. And I'm like, good gravy. She just, she used to always tell me, if you do this, I'll haunt you. If you do that, I'll haunt you. Y'all, I think she haunts me. I do. I really, really do. And uh, my daughter, my daughter thinks I'm a witch because... I don't know. Do y'all get like this? I think it's just women's intuition, especially as you're getting older, I think. I can just, like, tell you that you've been on my mind, or tell somebody that somebody's on my mind, and I'll call them, and they'll be like, oh my god, I need to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. There was, like, a reason why they were on your mind, you know what I mean? So, and I would tell my daughter stuff like that all the time. She's like, you're a witch. It always comes true. Freaks her out. She can't handle it. She just can't handle it. Okay, so, where was that? Uh, I lost my train of thought here, y'all. Alright, so for Facebook... I'm gonna be putting something down for each day. I got something I can put on there this evening before I go to bed. I can let y'all know about these two videos that are online. And about the new kit. I'm gonna blow up Facebook tonight. Check that out. Alright, so we're gonna start easy peasy right now this week. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna go that far. And then down here is where I can repurpose TikTok. Yeah. And have it ready for next week. We'll basically take the previous week's videos and post them next week, I guess. Is that the way I should do it? Or should I do it at the same time it's current? What y'all's thoughts on that? Hmm? Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. Because, to be honest with you, I'm probably always going to be a week behind on something. Y'all see how much is going on in my life. But... I don't know. Since I started switching up my routine and I make sure... My biggest thing is I have to check in with my planners. I have to check in. Because if I don't, I lose my darn shirt. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some labels here. Because we didn't do it today for TikTok. And I'm not even going to bother to. I ain't going to lie to you. So let's get some more labels. Yeah. And we'll put TikTok for tomorrow. I don't want the same darn looking labels. Let's do some pretty ones. Yeah, let's do like a skinnier one. Then, were they on the same floor like that? Yeah, they were. 
Oh. That sucks. I should have used that pink one there. Oh well. I'm gonna use this one here. Yep. Okay. And then we'll use another little skinny one here. And I think I wanna use, let's use the honeycombs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just got to put on our TikTok stickers here, and then I got to pause and go get my Pinterest and my other stickers, because I know what I'm wanting to do. I think I'm just going to put it up in the corner. Yeah, that way I can name the video that I'm going to be putting on TikTok. Works for me. Okay, let me pause, go grab that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and got them, and I thought about something. I should have been using my tater doodle peeking boxes, because look, the candy pop, well, candy pop is what I have it in my brain called, but it's candy. They would have worked in here. They really would have. That would have been cute. So that's a really cool thought that I need to think about, is like maybe assigning the peeking boxes to a certain social media channel. I don't know. But I definitely want to start using all my little ditties. You know what I mean? So today was um, in the shop, up on the glitter headers, when it's relevant. I want to put, like, was it a new release? Was it a sale? Blah, blah, blah. Up there. Today was actually Throwback Thursday, but I think I have a smaller one. Oh, this is a long old script. If it don't look good, I ain't doing it. Could. Let me think on that. It might grow on me. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But I definitely need to put Pinterest down here in these glitter headers because these are the boards that I need to design um, as a template for easy posting as I do kits. Um, my goal is to get little videos on each one of my listings into Etsy. Etsy is going to be downsizing quite a bit. Um, only the most popular planner options will be on Etsy. Everything else um, will definitely be on my website. And it will be in collections. So, like, if you click Large Plum Paper Planner, it'll have a drop-down menu. And then you can click just the Me Layouts. And you'll see only those. You won't have to sort through, like, all the different options in one category like you have to in, in, in uh, we call it, Etsy. And then when you do, like, deco functionals, I'm having them have them grouped by, like, breakfast food, snacks, lunch, dinner, you know, fruit, vegetable. Make it super, super easy and so much more easy um, to deal with. So, Instagram. Mm, Instagram is my bane, y'all. I just, mm -mm. We'll deal with, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do some serious brain surgery about Instagram. Some... People just love Instagram. That's just not my jam. I have messed with it. I don't know what it is about it. It's just not my favorite thing in the world. I've got to get good at it. Um, the reason I really haven't bothered with it is because if you do the analytics and the research on it, TikTok and YouTube is going to be the way that you bring in your social media people. Um, it's Everybody wants to think it's Instagram. It's really not. Instagram is not where you're going to get all your people. So, okay. All I gotta do is write out what I need to do in these little boogers, and we are good. Okay, so for Pinterest, we're gonna be doing the large plum paper monthly, and we might as well get the plum paper monthly and the A5 plum paper monthly at the same time. Then tomorrow, well, let's look at the project, because what are we working on on the second? Uh, okay, so we're gonna be doing the large plum paper me, the large plum paper vertical priorities. We'd said the plum paper monthly, so then it would be the plum paper weekly. This way I've already got the Pinterest, you know, templates ready, and we can just rock and roll with it. So we're going to do the A5 quad, which is like, wow, super easy. Um, A5 plum paper weekly. Ooh, y'all see that? Time to use a whipper. I had a lady say the other day, I never see you use whiteout. I was like, really? I'm like, that's why I buy so many refills. I guess I don't do it on camera, but y'all, I'll be tearing it up. 
I'd be keeping Tombo in money. I mean, uh, in, uh, I'd be running them out, y'all, for real. Okay. And then it's the A5 plum paper vertical priorities. And the A5 plum paper quad weekly horizontal vertical. Okay, me. All right. And I'm not messing with the ads yet. The ads are, whew, the ads are going to be a nightmare when I get to them. They're going to have several days, not just a day signed to them. And then the next one was the standard. So that'll work. So those are the templates that need to be created by the end of the weekend. And that's super easy. That takes about maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes per template when I, when I do things like that. So we're going to put link to video, um, to videos. Okay. Uh, thank you tomorrow in Facebook. Uh, I'm gonna put for TT for Throwback Thursday because you guys went nuts over Granny's house. I didn't think anybody was gonna like it as much as I did. <laughs> Y'all, they hadn't been in the shop no time and they just started flying out. Um, <clears throat> on Saturday, <clears throat> I just want to do, um, I want to post a picture of my planner. And then I want um, to post, pick, and link to Faith. Cool. I got that. Okay, so now in Google Docs, who this, this booger here. Google Docs is pretty much becoming one of my best friends here lately. It is so nice to me to keep things organized. And so, um... Apparently, somebody's messaging me again. I want to try to do two things into Google Docs each day. Oof. Okay. And it's basically pre-plan and hashtags. Yes, sir. That's what my goal is for Google Docs. I've got a I got a template I ordered from Etsy. I'll have to get the name of the shop and talk about it next week and put the link in the description next week. I'm going to be honest, I'm too tired tonight to do it. And since I haven't, you know, really went into it, it's no big deal on this video, but I will definitely do it for next week. Um, where you can put, like, you can have your links ready to go, everything, to just have it go to social media, and I just think it's so cool. Okay, so we're going to post on the Plum Monthly. I'm going to post Hobo uh, Monthly. And we are also going to post the Faith process. Works for me. Okay. So we're going to do our pre planning. Pre plan. Pre plan. And I want to point something out. Have y'all seen me worry about my pen one time in this video for a plum paper? I have been writing on the paper. I have gave it a few minutes. I'm not going back over it. I'm writing on my stickers. You just got to know your planner and you can't let, let it freak you out. You just can't. So we're pre-planning it and we're going to be, what did I just say? Oh, hashtags. And so, I'm thinking there's going to be some custom scripts coming in my life super soon, like tomorrow, for this area. Because that's probably going to be my standard every single day. Okay. So, this is the end of my social media plan with me. It is so probably not the way y'all are used to seeing it. <laughs> I did do, um, what do you call it? YouTube on Monday. I've done it every day this week, y'all. Yes, I have. So I can bubble my junk in. And I've got them scheduled for tomorrow. Ha ha. This one I said was coming tomorrow. And then, yeah. Okay. So, this is the way I set it up. It's the way I think it's going to work for me. It is colorful. It makes me want to check in with it. 
And I think that's going to be like my biggest deal is I have a bad habit of setting up my planner, decorating it and making it pretty and not actually coming back to check it. Um, I definitely am in Mahabanichi all the time, but even that, I write down my to-do section in my daily, and then, you know, I go into my checklist notebook from um, Aaron Condren. It needs to be that I spend 20 minutes every single day going through all my planners and checking all my notes and my plans for the day. That way, I know I'm definitely on track. Okay, so I hope you guys liked the way I set it up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!